Hello and welcome to Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeep Leo. And welcome to October. It's the first trading day of the month and we start with a look ahead to this week. Well, later today, the Thai Prime Minister is uh, scheduled to pay a visit to the White House in Washington, D.C. And on Tuesday, the uh, Reserve Bank of Australia will announce its latest cash rate decision. On Thursday, the RBA releases its balance of trade and retail sales numbers for the nation. And uh, speaking of Australia, Peter Maguire, the CEO of XM.com, he joins us now live from Sydney. Welcome to the programme, Peter. Now, first off, let's uh, start with the Thai uh, Prime Minister's visit uh, to the US. This is uh, rather unusual, of course. This is the Prime Minister of the military uh, junta. Uh, how important is this uh, meeting between the two? Well, good morning. And I think it's very, very important in the sense where Obama refused to meet the Thai Prime Minister in 2014. And certainly uh, Donald Trump has extended the olive branch, the increasing bilateral and, of course, security talks across that whole region. So in turn, Trump really is um, pushing forward. It's going to be very well received as far as the White House is concerned. Uh, not sure how human rights are going to view it as far as Thailand. Right. Now, moving on, closer to you, of course, in Australia, we've got a big week. The Reserve Bank seems fairly busy. They're starting with an interest rate decision on uh, Tuesday. What are you expecting there? I think it'll be a neutral... I don't see any, um, any decision as far as increasing rates. We've had a very, very strong uptick as far as the value of our dollar over the last eight or nine months, and that's weighing on inflation and certainly what causes as far as exporting for commodities. So... I think the RBA is uh, realising we've got inflation under control and I think we'll stay at that 1.5 mark which has been held since August of 2016. All right, you say inflation's under control but there'll be more clues about Australia's economy when uh, the RBA also released the balance of trade and retail sales. What do you think they'll reveal about the state of Australia's economy? Well, retail sales, I'm sure that uh, they're going to uptick over the next couple of months leading into that Christmas buying season. Job situations are getting a little bit better in the sense of unemployment numbers. So in turn, we've had a not a bad month in August. And I feel as though that leading into that period over the next, say, you know, six to eight weeks should be quite strong for retail sales, mm -hmm. uh, which is going to be a good sign for our economy overall. All right. Now, uh, foreign exchange is your specialty. We know it's quite a big week this week as well. We've got a couple of reports coming out from the U.S. and elsewhere, particularly uh, jobs reports. So where do you see uh, the U.S. dollar relative to all of its counterparts? Well, I wouldn't be surprised to see for a couple of reasons. Um, we had Janet Yellen's discussion and we could see a rate rise this year uh, in the next couple of months in the US. So the, in turn, the Fed putting their um, foot on the accelerator a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. And I think that so in turn, the US dollar will probably appreciate over the next week or so. And uh, I wouldn't mm -hmm. be surprised to see a little bit further momentum. Um, Right. It's a little bit of uncertainty what's going on as far as euro, but uh, it's going to be an uptick. All right. Thanks for that, Peter Maguire.